should never be from Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, there are at least two other pretty good lessons on this song on YouTube here, uh, but neither one of them shows the solo. So I'm going to really focus on the solo. I am going to show you the whole song, but I'm definitely going to do it with a focus on the solo. Um, we'll start off with the chords. The chords for the verse are very simple. It's an E9, switching to an A13. I've seen some people playing them at the first position here. Uh, if you look at the Jimmy Page Robert Plant No Quarter video here on YouTube, you'll see that Jimmy plays them up here at the fifth position. We're starting with an E9, which normally you would play like that. Um, Jimmy uh, plays a lot of partial chords. Um, he's only playing those four middle strings, might be leaving the first string open, which then would of course still be an E instead of the B note. That's your A13, which is sort of like a regular A chord in reverse. You've got 7th fret, 2nd uh, string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 5th uh, fret, uh, fourth string. And of course you can play the first string uh, and the fifth string open if you wish. Jimmy's pretty messy, you know, so don't worry too much about uh, that. You can play them at the first position if you're more comfortable down there. You can get away with just an E7 to the A13 looks almost like a regular A chord, only you're leaving the third string open, fretting the second string on the fourth, or second fret on the fourth, second and first strings. If you want to play the whole E9, you'd be fretting the F sharp note there on the first string, second fret. Again, there's tons of tab on this on the internet. Uh, don't want to waste a lot of time on two chords. I already have wasted too much time. Okay, then he gets into some... Which, of course, sounds better with a little grit. playing the A string, fifth string open, and then just riffing down the fourth string starting at the seventh fret. Moving down to the fifth, fifth string down to fourth, but he kind of more plays it open. And then fourth string and then open. Excuse the phone. And then just resolving on a DA. your first string so the fifth strings open. Play the fourth fret, sixth string. And then go E, B, and F sharp.
string six fret, the G note to open. Right now on the live ones, I've seen him go. pentatonic which is the F sharp minor pentatonic same notes if you recall so just fourth and third strings second and fourth fret something along those lines okay so that's a rough quick take of the verse and uh, now we want to get to the solo been having some good luck with the cocked wah position on this Esquire kind of getting that tone um, Jimmy of course plays this with a slide I'm showing you it without a slide I'm not a slide player most players uh, that are just messing around at home are probably not slide players either if you want to play this with a slide it's the same notes so go for it uh, we're in standard tuning so it's really pretty simple uh, second and uh, fourth and sixth frets third and second strings <laughs> sharp at the seventh fret second string bend and release and then slide it all the way down to the C sharp notes second fret second string so you do that twice right then he slides all the way up to the twelfth fret on the second string Okay, so what I did there, I'm on the first and second string, sliding up to the 12th fret B note on the second string, and then playing back and forth between the E and the D notes, 10th and 12th fret first string. And then sliding up there to the 14th fret, C sharp note, second string. One more time. Okay, 12th fret, 2nd string. Okay, 12th fret, 2nd string up to 16th fret, 1st string. Back down to 12th fret, 1st string, 12th fret, 2nd string. So we're just going down, you know, he's sliding, obviously, right? He's sliding. So, so we're ending up there on that C sharp note, 14th fret, second string. Then he, then he gets into the sliding of a whole chord, a whole A chord. This is our open position A chord, A shape of the A chord. He slides it up an octave to the 14th fret. You're playing four, three, two. D A. Okay? It's not going to sound as cool as a slide, obviously. But... Then the chord progression goes to a B, so you go. It goes up two more frets to the A shape of a B chord. When you're playing those 4-3-2, he's accenting the second string. So after that uh, B chord, A shape of the B chord at the 16th fret, 4-3-2. 
it resolves E, B, which you could play if you want. That's how we did it the first time when we were playing down here. And then the last figure of the solo after that resolution is sliding up to the 17th fret on the B string. That's an E note. Okay, so you're going 17, 16, 14 on the second string. Okay, one more time. Then you're going like an A arpeggio, 14th fret. 4, 3, 2 on the 14th fret. Back and forth, 14, 12 on the 2nd string. And then he slides off from the B note, 12th fret, 2nd string. Which again is not going to sound as cool when you're not playing slide. But it's still pretty damn cool. <laughs> Lastly, the iconic riff that I showed you at the beginning. In terms of bang for the buck, rock and roll riffs, in terms of like ease of playing to coolness of how it sounds, this is one of the best riffs ever because it's extremely easy to play and it sounds extremely cool. Okay, huge bang for the buck factor. You're at the ninth fret. You're playing hammer-ons, double stops. Okay, you're gonna start, you're barring the ninth fret, five and four. Hammering on the fifth string, then barring the next two, four, three, and hammering on the fourth string and then doing the exact same thing, thing two frets down. Then hammering on an A chord. Not as in hammer on, but as in crunching. Okay? you'll be playing that over and over. You'll just be, you know, try it, try it. You'll enjoy it. Get a little delay going. I've got some flashback, the TC Electronics flashback on the lo-fi setting. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.